we are going to get started with this first exercise of uh, of our module 2 for COP 2510. Uh, we are dealing with conditional expression. This exercise is going to actually not include any uh, requirement for conditional expression. It's just a warm-up exercise uh, as is indicated here. The purpose is to refresh your memory on previous module and uh, to move progressively to introduce conditional and more elaborated uh, control flow structures in our program. So the objective for this particular exercise is to read two integer values from the user, store them in variable a and b. First step. Second step, we then display a small menu on the screen as a series of four text lines, indicating to the user that they can select one to uh, display the result of the sum of a and b. They can select two to make the difference. They can select three to make a division of one by another. And they can select four to actually compute the multiplication of a by b. So that's the second step. The first step will be to uh, use a variable named choice and an input statement to read the number hopefully between 1 and 4 from the user and to do some work accordingly. This is going to be for the next exercise. So really this first exercise is just there to read two variable, display a menu, read a choice and we leave it at that. Okay, the next exercise will complete pretty much the picture. So I'm going to close this window and we are going to go into Raptor. Uh, I already like started or adding a couple of elements to this exercise, not much, so I'm going to just like erase it real quick and we're going to start fresh. Uh, this is Raptor start and empty program. I need to read two variables to start my program. So I drag a first input statement, a second input statement, I double click on the first one. Here's the window, the dialog that opens. What do I want to, to ask from the user? Uh, give me a value for A. And I keep here the text option checked so that I don't even have to put double quotes here. And I want to read a value and store it in variable A. Second input statement. Here's the dialog box. Give me a value for B. And I'm going to say I want to store whatever is read from the user in variable B. Done. And I'm done with the first part of my program. Okay, what is left to do? Well, once I'm done write, reading two variable A and B values, I will then display the following menu here. Compute A plus B, compute A minus B, etc. on the screen. So this is going to be achieved by using actually four different output statements. So here is a first output statement here, and I'm going to double click on it. What do I want uh, to display on the screen? I want to display something that looks like one, and I'm going to choose output text here so that I don't have to bother with uh, double quotes around. One option one is compute. A plus B. And current line is OK. Done. Another output statement right here. My second output statement is going to be an output text. Option 2, compute. And I should like put a uppercase here. Compute A minus B. OK. Actually, I should have used cut and paste. Well, forget it. I'm just going to retype it. I should use cut and paste from my previous output statement. Compute A minus B, end of line is OK. Done. And I'm going to keep adding like that the four option that we discussed in the exercise. So the last, the third one is going to be compute A divided by B. And I make sure this is output text. Done. Another one. And the last one will be fourth option Compute A times B. Output text and current line done. So so far I have a program that reads two variables, display four messages on the screen. What is left for me to do? Well I need an input statement to read a value for the variable choice. So I go back to Raptor, input statement, I'm going to add it here at the bottom, scroll down my program. And I'm going to um, prompt the user for a choice, pick a choice between 1 and 4. And I'm going to read it in the variable choice. Done. Let's test this program to make sure it is working. I'm going to use the play button here. Start, 
give me a value for a get a. This is a pop-up that appears on the screen. I'm going to give the value, let's say, 30. Okay. Give me a value for b executes now. This is a pop-up that comes on my screen. The value for b will be 10. Series of four put instruction. And we can see the result of those put instruction here by putting on the foreground the uh, master console, the output window, if you will, of Raptor. You see that the four message constituting my menu have been displayed on the screen. Back to my program, I am now on the stage where I'm asking a value for choice. This causes this pop-up to appear on my screen. I say, I'm going to pick choice number one. Okay. My program is done. You can see here the final result of the display. The four items of the menu have been displayed uh, effectively. You can see here on the side that there is a variable A containing 30, variable B containing 10, a variable choice containing 1. So pretty much we have uh, the basics of the program we are now going to use over and over in this series of exercises.